Hi, I'm Richard Stevenson. I'm the Chief Executive of Udo Media. And today I'm going to talk about corporate apps and enterprise apps. Now, the stats are pretty clear that up to 20% of iPads that are going to be sold this year are going to be sold to corporations buying them for their employees. Now, the other devices will also follow this trend. And certainly the BlackBerry, for example, might follow the same trend. However, the way in which corporations use the iPad will be different to the normal public. So let me talk about how apps are distributed. There are three ways of doing that. That is through the App Store, which is visible to everybody. Second thing is through a developer license restricted to the number. That's only for checking apps. And the third is through the enterprise license. Now, an enterprise license is available to anybody with a DUNS rating as a company. And effectively, you enter into a contract, which means that you only distribute this app to your own employees. But it's a very powerful solution to delivering things. And what I'd like to talk about is how you do plays a part in that, that uh, system. So documentation can be delivered to any employee in the company. And by having different apps, you can expose them to different groups. Could be boards of directors, could be a broader group for HR documents, could be a group that's related to the sales force or engineers. Now, in each of those areas, you can deliver documents using the Udo container app. Now, a container app is effectively an app that sits there that will receive lots of documentation and, it, and, and you can publish. What makes Udo unique is that you, as a corporation, can actually publish yourself documents into those containers that sits on people's iPads. So it's a very powerful solution using Udo. So you can think about ways in which we're already deploying this, is where field service engineers, for example, can access their documentation. Now, why is this important as opposed to just distributing by email? One of the reasons is version control, is that you can now ensure that everybody's got the latest version of a documentation. Any changes will show up on the iPad and say, latest version available, download it now. That ensures that on critical operations that you know the information is correct and everybody's been distributed. Sales forces can have latest presentations, for example, and that can be sent out to all the sales force with one load up into our system. Now, we've actually worked hard to improve our solution so that the information that's sitting up in the cloud is now fully encrypted in our cloud. So that security is very important for any corporation to make sure that that documentation does not leak out elsewhere. So all of that are good reasons for using Udo. And I want to look now at another solution, which is a corporate use, but where you can control the access of the app, but it's available on the App Store. And this sometimes is useful for organizations or for um, customers that you want to give particular access or just control that information rather to the general public. And effectively how this works is that in our cloud we control through a subscription-based system, similar to a subscription, who can actually get access to that particular app. And they type in an email address and password, which has been given to them by you, it's controlled by us, and then they can see the content. And that's another very powerful way to use it. I'm going to show you that now on this device. So let's take this particular app in case it opens up in normal, and effectively it will immediately ask you for the, the login and password. So we'll do that, and I'll just type in my um, email address. OK, and now we're done with that, and then I will do that, and then now it will open up and give me access to this app. So this, for example, will show me my latest edition, and this, in fact, is showing me my container, in this case, containing two editions. And I can publish many, many documentations into this. In fact, the container will take up to 3,000 editions to do that. So that's the way in which you can use it for, accessing, for, for people accessing that, say, are external to your organization. So two solutions, enterprise within your organization or a closed access for outside your organization. And we feel that this is going to be a very powerful development in 2011, and we know that a lot of customers are already using Udo for this very application, and we hope you'll find interest in using Udo for doing this. Thank you.